familiar face who returned to Rhode Island today. U.S. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo was here to push President Biden's plan to invest in child care and workforce development. 12 News reporter Nita Buffoni was with the secretary. She joins us now with the details. Well, Shannon and Kim, Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo making the case for President Biden's Build Back Better agenda by highlighting the need to invest in the so-called care economy that was impacted by the pandemic. In her old stomping grounds, U.S. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo led a roundtable discussion pushing the need to make child care affordable and help parents re-enter the workforce. This, as data shows, millions left their jobs to care for kids because of the pandemic. You cannot have a vibrant, healthy economy unless you have a strong, vibrant care economy. More than a dozen child care organizations and business leaders gathered at the Boys and Girls Club in Pawtucket for the secretary's visit. Raimondo laying out President Joe Biden's plan to invest hundreds of billions of dollars, a chunk going towards social programs. The increased reimbursement rates through Medicaid for these services, home-based services, will directly flow to increase wages. This is designed to be transformational. It's not simply an incremental little fix. During the visit, the Republican National Committee issued a statement saying Raimondo's visit is an attempt by the president to shift focus from the crisis in Afghanistan. This was Raimondo's response. The American people deserve these investments. It's necessary for our communities and for people to get back to work and for the economy. Now, this wasn't Raimondo's only stop in Rhode Island. Before the roundtable discussion, she met with teachers and students enrolled in a training program at a Cranston school. For now, live in East Providence, I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News. The effects of the pandemic brought former Governor Gina Raimondo back to Rhode Island to push one of the Biden administration's key economic recovery proposals. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni tells us about the event and why it prompted some criticism. Anita? Well, Kim and Shannon, U.S. Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo in her old stomping grounds today, making the case for President Joe Biden's plan to invest in the so-called care economy. Her visit wasn't complete without criticism from the Republican Party. Senator Reid. Surrounded by more than a dozen child care organizations and business leaders, Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo made a visit to the Boys and Girls Club in Pawtucket, pushing the need to make child care affordable and help parents re-enter the workforce. Investments in child care, elder care, workforce are every bit as essential as investments in traditional infrastructure. Raimondo pointing to data that shows the need for these investments as millions left their jobs to care for kids during the pandemic. President Biden's Build Back Better agenda calls for hundreds of billions of dollars to go towards social programs. His initiative is about providing the care, but also increasing the wages of the workers. We want to strengthen our child care infrastructure by ensuring that providers can survive and pay their essential workers a fair wage. During the event, the Republican National Committee issued a statement Thanks, saying Raimondo's well, visit again. is an attempt by the president to shift focus from the crisis in Afghanistan. My response to that is that the senator and I had a great discussion here today about an incredibly important topic, which is the care economy, investments that are necessary in the care economy. Uh, and we're going to stay focused on that. Also on her schedule today was a stop at a Cranston school to visit teachers and students, part of a job training program. I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.